Welcome back everyone. Today I'm going to slow cook a French onion soup roast. It's not soup season yet, but we're going to get those delicious flavors, put it right into the roast. The first thing that you want to do is lock in some delicious flavor, give it nice color and a nice sear on your roast. Now I am using a two and a half pound chuck roast and it was only $16.30. This will feed about four to six people versus going out to eat and spending $16 to $20 on one plate of food. Let's go ahead and get started searing up our roast. I'm using a deep skillet and I'm gonna add about two tablespoons of cooking oil and you know I like to use that avocado oil. Now we're going to get this heated up, get it nice and hot. I'm going to take the roast out of the packaging. We're going to season it first. Now make sure you give it some flavor. I've got some onion powder. Go right across the top with garlic powder. Some black pepper. And we've got salt, or Celtic salt. It's the only salt allowed in the house. <laughs> I've got table salt. I'm just gonna rub it in. We're gonna put our roast in seasoning side down. This will take about four to five minutes to sear on the bottom side. While that's happening, go ahead and season the top side now. And as you can see, there's a, like a fat layer here and that's perfectly fine. It'll render down into the crock pot. So that's totally fine. If you don't like that, then you can just cut that off with a knife. All right, we're gonna go back in with some onion powder. I'm seasoning it liberally. I put it on there. Some garlic powder. And I'm saying about a quarter of a teaspoon on each side of each seasoning. You want to measure it out. I'm just going to go across the top with it. And our salt. All right, let's take a look. Oh, yeah. That's what you want right there. Another few minutes on the back side, and then what we're going to do is rotate it around on the sides. Got to lock it all in. Now just hold it on the sides for one minute, and then just rotate it. Oh yeah, that's turning out. Alright, we're going to turn our burner off. We're going to let this sit while we get the rest of the ingredients ready. What we're gonna do now is get our onions ready. Now, you know, in a French onion soup, they have big slices. So I've got four onions here because you need a lot of onions for this dish because it's going to kind of melt down and you wanna be able to find your onions. So I'm gonna peel, take off the ends and we're gonna cut these onions in fine strips. So we're just gonna take off both ends that outer layer. Now these are yellow onions. Now you can use the Vidala onions, white onions, the sweet onions, whatever you like. All right. I've got my chopper out. Now I'm using the slicer of my chopper, if you can see that right there. You're just going to put your onion on it, and then you can take this tool that came with it and just pop it right on the top of the onion, and then drag it through. Now generally I have issues with this piece right here. so. I have these gloves, they're kitchen gloves, and they're good for when you're cutting things, slicing things, and they keep your hands protected. So this is the kind of glove that you want. 
and you can just hold your onion and then slice right through. And then when you get towards the end, just be careful. It's much faster with the glove. Like most things that I use in my channel, it'll, you can find this in my Amazon link, the store. I'll link it down below in the description box or you can find it in my katherinesplates.com recipe blog. Just go to the store items, you'll find Amazon and then you can find the gloves through there. You want to make sure you get these type of gloves when you're doing this. When you get to the end, I'm not going to slice through that, but I will just put that in the crock pot and it'll melt down. All right, there we go. Look at that. And I'll just add that into there and this one into there. Let me show you what we're going to do with these. What we're going to do is place half of our onions on the bottom of our crock pot. We're going to let the roast sit on the onions. All right, let's put our roast on top of that. All right, look at that. Just set them down on there. And then we're going to pile the onions all over the roast, what's left of it. A lot of onion. But you can control how many onions you put in here. I want to leave them like in the strips like that. Cover it up. We're going to give it some flavor now. We're going to add four cups of beef broth. Right all over the onions. So for me, that's going to be the whole box. There we go. We're going to add one can of French onion soup. Now this is a condensed version, so it's going to have a lot of flavor in it. Oh, you see those onions already been caramelized? That's going to add flavor. Oh yeah. We're not done. Hang on. We got some Worcestershire right across the top, probably about a tablespoon. All right, we're going to flavor onion powder, half a teaspoon, garlic powder, half a teaspoon, black pepper, a quarter to half a teaspoon. We're going to season with just a little bit of salt across the top. We got a lot of onions in there we need to season. And then we're going to add some thyme leaves. Now these are dried, crushed. We're going to go right across the top. That smells good. A little bit of thyme in there, right across the top. About a quarter of a teaspoon, half a teaspoon. We got a big roast in there. We're going to place a lid on. We're going to cook this on high for about four to five hours, or you can cook it on low for about seven to eight hours. Now it all depends on the size of your roast and the type of roast you're cooking with. So you want to make sure that you go in with a fork and just kind of pierce it, shred it a little bit and see if it falls apart. And if it does, then you are good to go. Now, we still got a few more things to do to finish this up. So y'all make sure you come back. Okay, my roast is nice and tender. It's waiting on us. I've got some baguette slices. I just took it off of a baguette here. What we're going to do is take some Swiss and Gruyere cheese. Now, if you can't find that, you can certainly just use the Swiss cheese or just the Gruyere cheese. I'm just going to take some and put it on each piece of baguette slice. Make it cheesy. This is part of the French onion soup. You know how they have that nice piece of bread on there? with the cheese melting right over it. 
So we're gonna pop this in the oven. I've got it at a 450 degrees, or you can put it on a broil if you want. I'm gonna place it in there. I'm gonna wait for that cheese to get nice and melted and a little golden brown on the top, which should get the bread nice and toasty on the bottom side. All right, I'll let you know how long that takes. Okay, our roast is done. I shredded it. Look at that, with those onions. It made a nice, delicious sauce in there. Almost like a soup, right? I'm gonna serve this up over some homemade mashed potatoes that my husband made, and then we're gonna serve it with the sliced baguette and baked cheese. Okay, we're plating it up. Look at those baguettes, nice and toasty. The cheese is melted. We're gonna place a few on the plate. Well, we're using a bowl here because we got some extra gravy around it, the mashed potatoes, with our roast. There we go. What do y'all think? Just finish it off with some fresh parsley. Nice pop of color. All right, there is my French onion roast, slow cooked in my crock pot. I let my bread sit in that juice to get nice and soft. Mm, here goes a bite. Mm. Nice and tender. If you love French onion soup, you're gonna love this. Let me go into the bite for that bread. Mm. Mm-hmm. Ooh, that's good, you guys. If you're not ready for soup, hey, just do it with your roast. <laughs> Give it all the flavors that you love. All right, ooh, I can't wait for this one. Give me a thumbs up. Make sure you comment down below, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below. Don't forget that bell notification, because then you'll always be notified when shows like this one here are posted. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mm. Tender. Mm -hmm.